Knowledge of a surf break is everything. I feel like anywhere I go in the world, uh, it takes me a good trip just to kind of get an understanding of what's going on, whether it's who's in the lineup, where's the reef, what's the reef feel like. So I think as far as surfing pipeline or any wave in the world, I think it's, it's just all time spent in the water and around the area. Walk down the pipeline stairs, super iconic, super cool, a lot of people. Then you go about 50 yards down to the left on the beach. Usually there's this rock and then I paddle out right next to the rock and then the current drags you uh, 50 yards again. And you can sneak out in between gums and pipe if you're lucky and if not, um, you're gonna have to do the walk of shame. I think gear definitely plays a really important role to me surfing at pipeline. I mean, it's from the board equipment to the safety equipment to giving you a clear mind, you know? It's like, I feel I'm riding the best boards in the world at Pipeline. And if I hit the reef hard, I'm gonna be floating. If I'm taking a late drop on the craziest way of my life, I have a really good chance of making it because I'm riding the best board and I'm on the best equipment at the craziest way in the world. The best kind of surfboards for Pipeline, six to 10 foot range, I would say anywhere from a 6.5 to a 6.11 is my favorite choice. I like to take off steep, deep, late, under the lip, um, sometimes air dropping. I mean, that's just how I like to surf Pipeline. A board that I'd recommend to somebody on a 10 foot plus day at Pipeline would be anywhere from a 6.10 to a 7.6. That's what I would ride. Um, that would be for still possibly getting a couple gnarly big ones under the ledge or possibly pushing off to the second wave. Ideal swell direction, ideal day, ideal everything would probably be about six to eight foot with some 10 foot sets. I mean, that means not too much stuff on the outer reef. It's real focused on the first reef, which um, give you those iconic pipeline waves. Those big, late, steep drops. It's not easy. It's, it's uh, you're putting 110% into everything you have and, and trusting your equipment. Um, Buoys would probably be reading nine feet, 17 seconds, southeast winds. I mean, that sounds like a perfect day for me. I think things you should be cautious for or look out for in the lineup at Pipeline would probably be just the local surfers. I mean, it's like anything in life, you know, you get respect, you give respect. Um, it's just kind of coming to that common ground of knowing that, you know, these people are putting their life on the line here at Pipeline. So just Kind of just, uh, I don't know, just kind of know where you're at, figure out where you fit in and, and uh, wait, wait your turn for your wave and, and you'll probably get one. <laughs> go to the water park and go down the steepest slide and that's what it's gonna feel like when you're taking off on a ball that pipeline. <laughs> no, I don't really know. Um, paddle hard, make sure your hands are closed, uh, head down, chest pushing on that board to get it over the edge pop-up, practice your pop-ups because you're going to need them at Pipeline. Um, just trust yourself and, and know where you want to go and, and before you paddle out and do all these things, visualize it and put it in your head and you know, go make your dream a reality.